Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, Baddus and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of February 2024. I'm gonna pull a few A7 card spreads, see who shows up in your reading today, whether it's a new person entering your life or a returning lover, or someone that you're currently talking to at the moment and you're just curious about where you two stand with each other and how the week is gonna play out for the two of you. Whichever your status is at the moment in your love life, Virgo, I will try my very best to see what comes up and what messages we can pull for you. All right, so let's do this. Spirit, please tap into the energy of Virgo today. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Who is heading towards Virgo this week? And what's their situation? What's their story together? Whether it's a new person or a returning person or someone that they're already in the, mo in the moment of talking to, what's going on with their situation? What can you tell us? Seven card spread for Virgo, please. Virgo, love, February 2024. What is their weekly tarot forecast? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my vivacious Virgos. All right, let's first dive into the person that you could be dealing with this week and get a look at how they will feel about you. We have the Queen of Swords, could be an air sign that you're connecting to. Their intentions with you. King of Swords, strong conversation heading your way. Someone really wants to talk to you about something. It feels very important, Virgo. Um, we will dive into it and clarify after I get your spread out to see what this person wants to talk to you about, but they have something that they want to like get off of their chest. All right, let's take a look at their behavior towards you. Temperance. You may have someone that wants to work something out with you. You may have disagreed about something or you guys were just kind of like clashing. This person's like Virgo. Can we like get past this? I'm strongly getting somebody that wants to like restore balance with you, restore peace after some sort of argument or a fallout. And even if it wasn't like an argument or anything like that, maybe there was just this tension of, oh, me and Virgo are not on the same page with this, are we? You know, we need to work something out. We need to find some sort of compromise with each other. Someone wants to work with you on something. They don't want to like let something define your relationship. Um, they are being honest, whoever this person is. Let's take a look at how you feel about them. Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords being your feelings for this person, you're telling me that you're feeling really stuck, you're feeling very confused, you're in your head about this person. Um, very Mercury energy, which is your planet ruler, so you're in your head space a lot, Virgo, and this person's preparing to get out of their head and actually communicate with you in words what's going on with them. So you both are in a lot of Mercury energy. All right, you guys are thinking, 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 and um, getting ready to like voice this together. I don't know if something happened over the weekend, um, but this person definitely wants to talk to you, okay? And you might not know how you want to respond to them with that Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is feeling like you're in a mental prison about somebody. You got a lot of question marks floating around the relationship. Picture this little hook finger, question marks. You got a lot of question marks surrounding your relationship this week, Virgo, where you're like, I don't know what the heck is going on with us. I don't know. All right, I don't know if this is someone that you're already in a relationship with or someone that you've tried to get things, you know, moving in a relationship or something else. We will see. Let's take a look at your challenge this week. The Nine of Wands. Your challenge this week is overcoming some sort of obstacle. You both are coming in with this energy of not wanting to like be a quitter in some way. All right, you both are feeling like something is you know, coming in to test you guys' strength in your relationship, it feels like. But when now you look at the Nine of Wands, it's someone that's still standing, still still here, still present. It's, it's definitely giving the energy of, hey, we're still here, aren't we? That, that must mean something, right? It's like this person wants to say, we're still here. That's got to mean something. Let's talk. Ooh, I just got spirit kisses. That's, that's hitting the nail on the head for somebody. All right, let's take a look at your weekly outcome. Now, if you're not dealing with any romantic connections, Virgo, this could simply be a friend, this could be a family member. Love doesn't always have to be romantic. Let's take a look at your weekly outcome. Nine of Pentacles, beautiful. So with your weekly outcome being the Nine of Pentacles, you're definitely feeling more grounded by the end of the week. You're feeling more happy, you're feeling more at peace, you're feeling more, more like you, because this is your minor arcana. Um, you're going from being like, Stressed out, feeling scattered, 
with the Eight of Swords to looking like you got everything under control, feeling like you gained some sort of valuable information and just feeling like you're, you're at ease, you know, enjoying yourself. You know, I love that card for you. Some of you, your money is working out for you as well because I'm seeing money falling out of your, your purse, guy or girl, and looking like everything's starting to feel really good for you. Now let's take a look at your advice. Two of Pentacles. Your advice is to definitely weigh out your options here and really look at the situation that you're dealing with with this person, weigh out the pros and cons, and maybe see if you guys can work out some sort of agreement together. You know, it's the energy of negotiating, you know, comparing notes with this person to see if you guys can find some sort of compromise in some regard. What's your overall energy this week? Knight of Wands. So with the overall energy for your love life this week being the Knight of Wands, Virgo, it is showing me that there is someone coming towards you very fast and furious, wanting to be very passionate with you, wanting to be very playful with you, but they feel like they have to go through this conversation first before they can have fun with you. Okay, it's that it reminds me of that person that's like, all right, I really want to have a good weekend with Virgo, but we're kind of going through something right now, so I need to talk to Virgo about it. So then we can go back to like being in the bedroom and going out on dates, having adventures again, bringing that spice back to the relationship. Okay, um, so I definitely feel like you've got somebody here that's wanting to squash a beef with you so that way you guys can go back to having fun again. I will clarify this card to see if this person is um, also wanting to build something solid with you for the long haul and not just wanting to smooth things over just so that they can have fun with you. Okay, and when I say fun, I don't mean like just the bedroom fun. I'm talking about going out on dates, you know, doing activities together. This person wants to have fun. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Now, if any time during this reading, Virgo, you don't feel like something resonates, don't take the message. Don't give your power away to tarot cards. Don't force it. Don't accept something that doesn't feel like it's your situation, okay? All right, let's start with your person's feelings. Why the Queen of Swords? Strong air energy. Queen of Cups and the Star and the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so clarifying their feelings, I got the Queen of Cups, which clearly tells me that they have a lot of love for you. The Queen of Cups as feelings goes without saying that someone's heart is already open to you. You have activated their heart, you have gotten close to them, they feel a lot of emotions for you, and the Star card comes after the Tower card. So if you and this person had any tower moments together, whether small towers or big ones, they want to resolve it with the Star card and they're calling out for like energetic help. Now, if you have not had any issues with this person, Virgo, and you're watching this thinking, no, we're not, we're not fighting. I just don't know what status we are. I don't know if we're dating. I don't know if we're in relationship. I don't know. I got a lot of question marks you could be saying. Well, that could also tell me that this person is hoping and staying, you know, open to some sort of wish playing out. All right. And with that Ace of Cups being here, they do want to express themselves and be more open with you emotionally, but they feel like they have to sift through whatever this is first before they can be, you know, vulnerable. That's what it feels like. It's like they feel like they have to get through this, this talk that you guys need to have before they can be romantic, playful, things like that. It's like there's a serious conversation that needs to happen first and I don't know what it is. Let me clarify this person's intentions and maybe that'll tell me what this conversation is. Um, it doesn't even have to be like surrounding something that happened that was bad. It's just something that's on this person's mind a lot that they wanna express in words first. Why the King of Swords? It's a truth teller. Very Aquarian energy. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like their talk that they want to have to you involves wanting to build a stable future with you because the Ace of Pentacles is that stepping stone to the Ten of Pentacles card and the Ten of Pentacles card in tarot talks about building a life with somebody, building a traditional type of like dynamic, you know, building a legacy, a, a family tree. So you got somebody that's coming towards you with two aces so far. The Ace of Cups, which is offering new love. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles, which is 
offering some sort of sign that they want you in their future. It's building a core foundation with somebody. Root to, to, root to the end, you know? So their intentions are very stable. They're coming towards you with intentions of offering that Ace of Pentacles, which is, hey, can we, can we work on this? Can we build together? Protecting something for Pentacles. Now, let me see what's going on with you. Because your feelings right now is the Eight of Swords. You've got those question marks floating around your head. But I feel like the more you think, the more you get more confused, Virgo. Okay? You need to ground your energy. You need to center yourself. And centering yourself works from right here. You know, the solar plexus, the, the sacral energy. You know, this is how you center yourself. All right? Why the Eight of Swords? King of Pentacles. Look at that. That's your court card. And the Queen of Swords. And your person's coming in with this Queen of Swords energy, wanting to talk to you about something very important. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Hair of Font. Okay, so it's feeling like this person brings you a level of comfort and support when you're around them, but when it comes to the actual relationship, that's where you feel like spaghetti noodles up on the ceiling. <laughs> you feel like it's all, all over the place and you're just trying to see what noodle is gonna actually stick and be what you feel like your relationship is becoming. It's <laughs> such a stupid analogy, but that's what came through. Now I want spaghetti. Um, it's just, it's feeling like, yeah, I mean, look at the art depiction. It's got swords on the wall. Which, if you look at it at quick glance, it could be like spaghetti noodles. <laughs> so I just, I feel like I have a Virgo that's like, Badison, I feel comfortable around this person. I feel like I can be myself. But when it comes to our relationship and where it's going, I feel like I'm all over the place. You know, because to feel the King of Pentacles towards this person tells me that you feel like they are a stable person. You feel like they are reliable. They're comfortable to be around and you want that relationship you just don't know what's going on with them because what they've been thinking in their head they have not been saying in words they've been keeping it into that 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 cranial center you know and not actually voicing it out to you maybe you got someone that has trouble opening up um especially with that nine of wands being in the challenge you both may have had some setbacks in your life that has left you guys feeling like you can't always just Trust to open up to people, even if they seem nice, even if they seem pleasant and genuine. You know, it, it takes a lot for cer certain people to open up after they've been through some trauma. I know I don't open up people right away. You know, it, it takes a few people to get close to my life, you know, and it just, it feels like it's protect, you, protect yourself. Not everybody has good intentions, even if they seem like they do. A lot of people walk around with little masks on their face. You know, I think everyone has their own mask, especially if they work in retail. You've got that mask where you're like, hi, welcome to blah, blah, blah. You don't actually talk like that when you're around your friends, you know, so that's a retail mask. Or when you're, you're at your job, you got to put on a mask for your boss. You know, everyone has that sort of mask. I'm talking about the mask where even when you're around people that you're supposed to feel comfortable around, some people will wear a mask, okay? So I feel like I have this person coming through who may be wondering if you've actually revealed your true self to them before they can open up to you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Because I'm not getting that you guys actually had a fight. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not getting that you guys have had a fight. And if you have, then this person wants to smooth things over. But if you haven't, there's just been this underlining like tension, little question marks around the both of you guys' head about the relationship. Um, clarify this Nine of Wands, please. Why is that the challenge this week for Virgo in their love life? Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. Ooh, and the Ten of Swords. So I'm strongly getting somebody here that grew up in an environment where they couldn't even trust their family. So now as a grown up, it's the energy of, well, if I couldn't trust my family, how am I gonna trust you? Some schmo off the streets that I met a few months back. You know, it's that sort of energy, um, whether that be you or this person. Since your person's coming in with the Queen of Cups as their feelings, that could 
be you, Virgo. You may be giving off this vibe that you're not really letting them in and they can sense that and they want to talk to you about that. Or you let them in to a certain degree. But the Ten of Cups is the energy of wanting a healthy relationship, wanting to have that bond with somebody where you can feel comfortable in your home. Anyone that walks in your home can feel comfortable. It's not that fight or flight energy where you feel like, oh, is this person mad? Should I scurry in the closet until they chill out? You know, it, it feels like someone grew up in an environment where mom was always screaming, dad was always checked out, and someone just doesn't feel comfortable being vulnerable. Wow, that's getting personal for somebody. Like someone grew up in an environment where coming home from school, if they were bullied in class, they couldn't tell mom or dad because their mom and dad would be like, what do you know about having a bad day until you got to pay the light bill, blah, blah. It's like never felt comfortable to express when they had a bad day. So didn't really learn how to regulate their emotions um, and just suppressed everything and just chucked it up as get on with it, you know. What is it? Buck up, buttercup, or what's that word? Where people just like dismiss what you're dealing with, like, oh, I'll pull up your bootstraps, get over it. You know, it's like someone was always dismissed, so they don't know how to like express vulnerability to somebody. It's like I'm looking at this temperance card, Virgo, and it shows me somebody clearly checked out right here. They've got something that's bothering them, but they're not voicing it. And this person right here is like, come on, I can tell that you've got something going on. Why don't you tell me what's the matter and we can work through it together. And this person's like, what's the, what's the point? Every time I ever open up before, I get told to shut up, you know? So someone doesn't know how to like open up those arms and just let someone get close. But it looks like someone does want to like start like loosening up a little bit. It's like um, you guys may have had something happen between the two of you and someone just shut down, went robot, instead of letting the other person know what was going on and someone assumed that someone was mad at them maybe. Like if you and this person are talking every day and everything feels good and then all of a sudden someone starts acting quiet for a few days, it's like someone's natural response to be like, what did I do? Did I upset them? I don't remember doing anything to upset them. Crap, are they mad at me? Like their natural response is, what did I do? Instead of thinking, oh, that person must be having a bad day or someone hurt them because I know I didn't do anything wrong. It's like someone's quick to like think that they did something wrong. It's like a trauma response. Um, why, the, why temperance as this person's behavior? Uh, not 18 card spirit. Come on now. Whoa. So they decided to like say F you to me and threw the card all the way across my camera. Where is it? Oh, I could still reach it without taking off my microphone. Ooh, judgment. To see the judgment card clarify the temperance card. Ooh, cat hair. Um, that's huge. Because judgment is the energy of cleaning out your energetic closet. It's the energy of, can you forgive me? Can you let go of the past and forgive me again with your heart? Judgment is the energy when it's, when, when it's with the temperance card, of course, is the energy of, can we like have another chance at this? Can we have another go at this? Can you, let's try again. Can you tell me what's going on? It's like maybe Virgo, you're trying again to find out what's wrong with this person. You're like, hey, I'm gonna give this another try. Can you tell me what's, what's the matter or this person's doing it with you? It came out with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords. So there's a lot of desire and passion coming off of this person in relation to you. And I already saw that with the Knight of Wands as the overall energy. Somebody here in this reading today finds you irresistible, finds you attractive, and it has nothing to do with your actual physical appearance. It's how you portray yourself, how you come off, your, your aura, your, your vibe. Someone thinks you got it going on. And I'm getting all mature energy off of this reading. I have a lot of queens here, very mature energy. I have kings here, very mature energy. So I don't have a whole bunch of pages running around. It's just, it's telling me that someone here is coming from a very genuine space and wanting to resolve something if something needs to be resolved. So that way you guys can get back to having fun again. It's like, can we just get past this, you know? Whew. All right, so let's clarify your weekly outcome. You look happy. So regardless of what's going on with this person that you have in your life, you look happy. 
Now, for those Virgos that are in a situation where you're not talking to your person right now and you're confused by it, I will pull your person's hidden feelings for you in a couple moments, okay? Clarify that Nine of Pentacles. Oh, I'm planning, I, I, I'm still thinking about it, so I haven't finalized it yet. I'm thinking about donating my cat cards. I just bought some new ones because my other ones were getting worn out. So I'm gonna be donating the ones that I've been using for the last year or so. It comes with the book. The cards are in there. It's gonna be completely saged. I'm gonna sign this part. I'm gonna I'm gonna run the contest on my all signs reading. I just don't know when I'm gonna do it yet, and I'll pay for shipping. Um, just wanted to mention that really quick. All right, why the nine of pentacles? Ah, six of cups in reverse, six of pentacles in the upright. So the six of cups in reverse is the energy of I will not repeat the past. I refuse to repeat the past, whether it's with a specific person or something that you may have caught yourself doing as a way to protect yourself or to like shield yourself from anyone who's having a mood. Um, you're not allowing yourself to return to certain behaviors. Like, like for example, say there's people around you that know how to like trigger you. They know how to get you angry. They know how to get you yelling. They know how to trigger the F out of you. All right, I have a Virgo that is showing up in the energy of, I will no longer allow these people to trigger me. I will no longer allow my past to affect my energy anymore. Because I'm strongly getting a Virgo that may have been quick to blame themselves whenever people were mad instead of just thinking it's their issue. It's like your natural response to want to like fix other people to protect yourself. I hope this is making sense. I just feel like um, I have a Virgo that's becoming strong and feeling empowered this week and it's helping your money flow. You have no idea how much your, your life, your childhood can really affect your abundance. You know, because if you're in this type of energy, that's like a lack mentality and it's going to attract more things to feel lack about. All right. So your advice with this person that you're dealing with is the two of pentacles and cross watch it. You can flip it if you need to. The three of swords, justice in reverse and the three of pentacles. Now, justice in reverse is the energy of feeling like something is not fair, it's feeling like something has not been resolved, feeling like something has not been dealt with yet in order for there to be peace and some sort of agreement made or some sort of moving forward and just having fun again. Um, there's some hurt surrounding this situation, it feels like. So it's like you're saying in this reading today, Virgo, I cannot move forward and accept this person's apology or accept this person's whatever until I know that it's, it's legit like they are seriously wanting to genuinely work something out before we can go back to having fun again. So you might feel like you're dealing with someone that whenever you guys are not on the same page, they are quick to say, hey, can we just not talk about that anymore? Let's get back to having fun again. I'm like, let's not ruin the vibe. And you're like, we got to talk through it. We got to talk through it so we don't have to go through it again. I'm done repeating the same argument over and over again, or I'm done repeating the same scenario with different people over and over again. That's what I'm getting, Virgo. It's like you want to clear some karma. You want to like no longer be given the same lesson over and over again. It's kind of what it feels like. Now, I don't know if this person hurt you or anything like that. It's just it's telling me that you don't want something to be a repeated theme in your love life. And you're talking about it with this person who cares about you. This person generally wants to hear what you have to say and generally work through not doing anything that might trigger you. Like, like if this person inadvertently triggered you, it's like you're telling this person what that trigger is and they're, they're like, oh, okay, I'll work with you. Now, that's not saying making other people responsible for your triggers. We all have to work on our own triggers. We can't expect people to be like knowing what our triggers are and like tiptoeing around us, no. But when you're working towards a partnership with somebody and you're still healing and working through your healing journey, it's, it's nice to have a partner that is gonna understand your triggers and be respectful of them as you work through healing it. That's what I mean. Okay, for zodiac signs that came through this reading today, I have Aquarius, I have Sagittarius, I have uh, a lot of fire and air, and Scorpios here, so you could be dealing with uh, Scorpio. All right, so let's let's you know see what comes out for the hidden messages. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl Virgo, and if you would like to book a private reading with me, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of every video. 
If this reading did not resonate, do check out your Virgo February Love Monthly I did. It's in my February playlist. And I go live every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the All Signs Their Feelings Free Spread, where you see my face. I interact with you live on, on um, the live stream. I'll link up the most recent one I did the other day because that's good for the next seven days. Well, actually, it's timeless, but it looks into your person's energy again in their feelings for you for the next seven days. I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh that used to light up my world. For somebody, I may be reading for someone's Virgo Mercury. Like if, if someone's got Virgo in their Mercury, this, this message may be important for you. I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. I can't go against my family to be with you. For some, there could have been a third party involved. And that could be what the challenge is. Someone in a whole ass other family. Mm, judgment free zone. We all have our lessons. I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. All right, that's for you, Virgo. I'll check back in with you in a few days for your next weekly update. Until then, I love you. Smile until your cheeks hurt. All right, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, and I'll see you next time.